Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. A warm welcome to Mass this morning. I'm offering it today for the intentions of Gwyn Griffith, whose first anniversary of death is today. Uh, we pray for the repose of his soul and for comfort and consolation for those who mourn his loss. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us and make us holy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. The Spirit reaches the depths of everything, even the depths of God. After all, the depths of a man can only be known by his own spirit, not by any other man. And in the same way, the depths of God can only be known by the Spirit of God. Now, instead of the Spirit of the world, we have received the Spirit that comes from God to teach us to understand the gifts that he has given us. Therefore, we teach, not in the way in which philosophy is taught, but in the way that the Spirit teaches us. We teach spiritual things spiritually. An unspiritual person is one who does not accept anything of the Spirit of God. He sees it all as nonsense. It is beyond his understanding because it can only be understood by means of the Spirit. A spiritual man, on the other hand, is able to judge the value of everything, and his own value is not to be judged by other men. As scripture says, who can know the mind of the Lord, so who can teach him? But we are those who have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, the Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. The Lord is just in all his ways. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. The, the Lord, Lord is just, just in all, all his ways. ways. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. 
The Lord, the Lord is just, just in all, all his ways. ways. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is something alive and active. It can judge secret emotions and thoughts. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town in Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath. And his teaching made a deep impression on them because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man who was possessed by the spirit of an unclean devil. And it shouted at the top of its voice, Ha! What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus said sharply, Be quiet, come out of him. And the devil, throwing the man down in front of everyone, went out of him without hurting him at all. Astonishment seized them, and they were all saying to one another, What teaching? He gives orders to unclean spirits with authority and with power, and they come out. And reports of him went all through the surrounding countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. The first two chapters of the letter of Paul to the Corinthians remind us of the very central message of our faith. We're taught many things by the church, social justice, social action, care for the poor, the marginalized, all very important, but of everything we are taught, the most central and most important thing is that God came to earth as a man, Jesus. He died on the cross to save us from our sins and the sign of his victory is the resurrection. If we try to explain that mystery, of Jesus coming, his dying, and his rising in, in purely human or philosophical terms, as, as Paul describes them, we will always find ourselves confused, I think. Why? Because, as St. Paul goes on to tell us, the one way to know the mind of God The one way to know the mind of Christ is through the Holy Spirit. Many people have spent much time trying to understand the world around us through philosophy. And we've developed many amazing and interesting ideas, but the world around us is very secular for all our thinking. And there's very little agreement about the origins of the world and about our ultimate destiny as human beings. But our way to understand the world, to understand God, to understand all things is through the power of the Holy Spirit. And let's not forget St. Paul. I think he's a real inspiration for us in this. He's a real example of how the Holy Spirit can change someone. Let's not forget that he actively persecuted the church because he thought the idea of God becoming man 
was blasphemous. But through the Holy Spirit, he went on to become one of the church's greatest witnesses to Jesus. Pray to receive the Holy Spirit. Pray that your friends and your family and your associates will receive the Holy Spirit. And we too, like St. Paul, can experience the transformation in our hearts and in our lives. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. 
And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, 
and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Wonderful to be here with you all. Um, I was reflecting this morning. Uh, maybe it's, I've spent about, I was about almost six, I think it was almost six months in the parish. Um, much of that time has been spent addressing that camera over there. Um, I, I know you're all on the other end of the camera. It's good to, good to know that you're there. Obviously, I can't see you. Um, and for the past few weeks that I've started celebrating masses, it's been, it's been lovely to see people. But, e but even then, it's only been behind the mask. So I've only really got to rec recognize people by their eyes. Um, so part of me has been feeling it's quite hard to con connect with, with you all. Um, that's, that's how I honestly feel. But uh, I just wanted to reassure you that I pray for you all and for the whole parish uh, every day in my rosary and in my, in my meditation. Um, so I hope, I was talking about the Holy Spirit earlier, I hope through the Holy Spirit uh, we are connected to each other. Um, and let's also please remember just to pray for the repose of the soul of uh, Gwyn Griffith, for whom this Mass was offered. And I wish you all a very good day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.